All right, guys, so first herp of the day is this nice little eastern worm snake uh, that we just flipped underneath some tin. Today's a little bit change of scenery. I'm down here in Southern Maryland with these guys. We got double O herpin and fish in Maryland, herpin Southern Maryland. And then the back is Tony who is MDDE herping, uh, which I'll tag all their channels uh, down in the description. But pretty cool find. Uh, I've seen a couple of these guys this year, uh, but always cool to see since I don't really get to see them up where I live. But we're gonna put them back underneath his tin and we're gonna keep on herping today. All right, so the next herp of the day is this nice Eastern box turtle, uh, which is my first one of the year. Um, these guys are relatively uncommon up where I live, but I think down here, uh, Southern Maryland, these guys are rather common. Always oh, a really cool find, love these guys. Uh, we're just gonna leave them be, and we're gonna keep on herping. All right, so the next herp of the day is another Eastern box turtle. A pretty one, this guy's keeping his head out uh, which is nice and he looks like he just crawled out of his little burrow uh, probably where he spent the night a really cool species i think this is a male he's kind of have a red eye and real pretty but we're gonna keep uh herping today and i'm just gonna leave him right where he is all right guys so a couple yards away from that eastern box turtle is a worm snake just out and about on a piece of trash that is not something that you see every day I mean, usually these guys are always underneath some type of, you know, tin board, log, rock. Awesome. But really cool to see this guy just out and about. So Don't know what he's top. doing, but it's like he's cool. basking. <laughs> he is basking. It's a fossorial species that's basking. And I think he's coming out of like a hole. Is he dead? I don't think so. Worm? It's a worm snake basking. All right, so next herp is just a adorable, tiny little eastern worm snake. I don't think I've ever seen one this tiny before and really pretty belly, real pinkish, like salmon-y red. Really cool to see a baby, but I'm gonna put him back underneath his tin and we're gonna keep on herping. All right, so the next herp of the day in hand is this nice, really pretty looking pickle frog. Just caught at the edge of this little pond. Cool, love these guys. I think we've seen like one this year uh, that I was able to get on film, but didn't get that guy in hand. Cool little species of frog. Um, tons of little cricket frogs around here. I've already caught one, uh, but it was not very pretty, so I didn't show it to you guys. I'll probably show you one if I find a real pretty one uh, with a lot of green markings. But these guys are cool. Love those little yellow thighs that these guys have, but I am just going to release them right back where I found them. So here's one of the uh, northern cricket frogs I was just talking about. This guy is really, really pretty. Nice green down the back. Uh, a lot of them, there's one right there, another one just hopped right there. A lot of these guys are pretty brown, uh, not too much to look at, but these guys, when they have these green markings, are absolutely gorgeous species of frog. But I'm just gonna release them right back where I found them. Yeah. All right, guys, so yeah. just found Eastern yeah. hog nose. Well, this guy just found an Eastern hog nose. Beautiful snake. If you listen carefully, you can hear him hissing at us right now. Ah, oh, so cool. I haven't seen one of these guys probably in the last, uh, maybe five years. I haven't seen one of these guys before. Uh, they're relatively uncommon up where I'm from. So I think this is only my, let's say sixth all time. Really cool find. We have a few up uh, in my county, but barely. First one I ever found but, was a Garrett. Cool guy, but I'm gonna take a couple photos and we're gonna leave this guy be. Have you ever found a mug? I throw my stick. All right, so we, we decided to pick this guy up to get a closer look because I think for two of these guys, it was a lifer. But think such a cool him. snake. Definitely seen him in black. I've only seen one black one before. It's so cool. You can see, look at that nose on these guys, just super blunt. And he's very friendly. Usually these guys, a lot of a lot of the time they play dead almost instantly on you as soon as you pick them up but this one seems pretty relaxed honestly it's a relatively big size hog um i think i've only seen one hog nose bigger than this guy before a really cool snake probably going to take a photo or two more and then we're just going to release them back on the side of the trail all right so here's one last look at this eastern hog before we let it go on its way such cool snakes you can see 
It's all puffed up in the head. Ooh, a little feisty. But we're gonna leave this guy alone. Uh, he's been very nice enough not to play dead on us and we don't want him to play dead on us. So we're just gonna back away from here and we're gonna keep on herping today and see what else we can find. All right, so next turp of the day is this adorable little baby Eastern box turtle. This is the first baby I've ever found before, uh, which is so surprising because I see box turtle uh, relatively off, often in the summertime and just never stumbled upon a baby before. But uh, this is really cool. Not as good as that uh, hog nose that we just saw, uh, but definitely a goal of mine that I wanted to uh, wanted to find over the past few years. But I'm going to snap a couple photos. Um, fortunately, this guy tucked back in his shell like they do. Um, but then I'm just going to put them back exactly where I found them. All right, guys, we were just flipping through some tin. And right underneath this guy right here, caught this guy that just bit himself. That was kind of odd. And he bit himself again. Stop doing that, buddy. But this is a Northern Black Racer. Um, never caught one this size before. I think this is actually probably the smallest one I've ever caught. Uh, which is odd because this guy isn't a baby. Um, I just used to catch him the really big ones uh, out my way and I never really see any of the small ones. He's a black vulture. That's cool. But just going to take a quick photo of this dude and just going to release him underneath. Look at him shaking his tail. Uh, that's cool. I love it when snakes do that. But take a quick photo and then we're going to release this guy back underneath his tin. All right, guys, so we are done taking photos of this little dude. So we're just gonna put him back underneath his tin. All right, guys, so probably the last herp of the day for this specific spot is this female common five line skink. Uh, there was two underneath this uh, pile of tin, but I was able to grab this little girl. But I'm gonna snap a quick photo. Uh, you can kind of see she's shedding um, right there on the tail a little bit. So that's pretty cool to see one in shed right now. But I'm not going to bother her anymore. Just take a quick photo and release her right back underneath her tin. All right, so here's the next spot of the day. Another, Another eastern hog nose. Hog nose. Right, so this is the first for me. So then two hog nose in one day. Right there. Oh, that's so cool. And my phone is about to die. Great. No close-ups for me. I've looked for the snake for three. <laughs> Grab him. Good catch, Tony. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all right. It's all right. It's okay. It's a very unique pattern on this one. Have you guys ever seen a pattern like this on him? No. no. Me either. Yeah, it's super just... unique. Yeah, I saw the stripes on the tail. He's, that's got, like, yeah, that's he's got like spots. Crazy spots pattern. Spots down his dorsal and then like stripes on the tail. Like super unique pattern for a hog nose. It's okay. He's eyeing you up, Tony. <laughs> oh, hold him right there. Hold him right there. Exactly. Yeah. We're just trying to calm him down, but still a really cool find. This one's beautiful. It's not a melanistic pattern like the other one, but it's I'm pretty sure it's another male, if I had to guess. Very unique pattern. Yeah, this one's just as beautiful. Two hogs and one. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's one last look at this eastern hog that we just caught. I mean amazing pattern on this dude. I've seen them all colorations before, but Never one quite like this. Just how stripey he is, definitely towards that tail. Ah, such a cool species of snake. And we caught two today, uh, which is just amazing. Uh, definitely worth the uh, four and a half hour drive it took me to uh, get down here in the morning, waking up at 4.30. Such a cool species of snake. Uh, I'm probably gonna take one more photo and then we're just gonna let him go on his way. And there he goes. That's so cool. <laughs> All right, guys, just switched locations. We're here flipping some tin, but I just found this little eastern fence lizard running around. So I already saw one of these earlier today, a nice pretty male that got away. But always cool to see these guys. Um, and they're probably not as common of a species down here in Southern Maryland uh, than up where I live. They just found a copperhead, so I'll show you guys that next. But I'm just gonna release this guy right back onto his beam. I'm coming at your face. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got the second racer of the day. This guy is deeply in shed. You can look at that eye. This guy's actually pretty blue, 
on that belly if it'll focus for me. But he is a bitey dude. But really cool. We're gonna take a photo of this guy and we're just gonna release him back underneath his tin. But always cool to see these snakes. Um, don't really get to see them up in the area I live. I have to drop down the mountains a little bit to get these guys. So always a cool find. Um, yeah. yeah, but ow. I think, uh, I think it was my last video. I told you guys that I have never been bitten by a, by a racer. I've got bitten by both racers uh, that we caught today. So got these guys out of the way for, for biters. Luckily, these guys are pretty small. But those teeth, those teeth kind of hurt. So, but cool species. Uh, we're just going to let this guy go. All right, so another species for the diversity list today. This is just a green frog. Just caught in this little ditch. Um, it's getting pretty hot outside, uh, so a lot of the tin that we are flipping hasn't produced too well. Um, but pretty cool to get a, another species for the day, so I'm just going to release him right back into his ditch. So right next to where I just caught that green frog, which is just right over there, was this Fowler's Toad, uh, which is my first one of the year. Uh, we don't get these guys up in the uh, county I live in, so I also have to drop down little ways from the mountains to get in the range of these guys but I think these guys are so cool I actually enjoy them more than the uh, American toads that I have up where I live but I'm just gonna put them back down right where we found them all right guys so next snake of the day right along the highway is this really it's not really big but much bigger than the uh, last couple uh, northern black racers Pretty cool. Seen three of these guys today. Uh, probably I've seen more racers today um, than I've ever seen in one day before. Which is surprising because it's only three. But like I mentioned, we really don't have these guys up uh, in my county. So really nice to see. So I'm just going to take a quick photo and then I'm just going to let them go. All right. So I just took photos of this guy. So I'm just going to release them right back underneath his tin. All right, guys, we are at the last spot of the day before I get heading home. And Tony just found this northern water snake just sitting on the bottom of this creek, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, this guy's got some nice, yeah, this guy's got some nice pattern on him. Um, hopefully you guys can see that well in the video. That kind of orangey, uh, kind of rusty color that he has on his side. Really cool. And this guy's a little bit bitey, but that belly is not as vibrant as some of the bellies we see on these species, but still a very nice find. Adds another species for the day. So I'm just gonna snag a quick photo and then I'm just gonna let him go back into the creek. All right guys, so we're just gonna let this guy go back into his creek. All right, so next snake of the day is this big northern black racer that Stephen just caught in a full sprint to catch him crossing uh, this little pavement slab. But this is, whoa, this guy, <laughs> this guy is definitely the nicest looking racer of the day. Look at that chin, that white chin. These guys are so cool. My camera would focus. There we go. But nice to see another one. I just missed one a little bit down the road uh, a few minutes ago, but... These guys are definitely the most common snakes of the day. Um, still got a little bit more to do here, herping-wise, so maybe we'll find a snake or two more. All right, so I just took a quick photo of this racer, so I'm just going to release him in the way that he's heading. Come on, buddy. You don't have to look at me anymore. There he goes. All right, everyone. Just made it into West Virginia on my way home currently. Still got about an hour, uh, probably a little more drive home still. But I'm gonna wrap up this video. Um, fantastic day today, definitely with those two hogs. Um, lots of racers, which is a cool species for me. I don't get to see them that much. Um, but today, more focused on just getting to know how to herb different habitat. I uh, never herped downstate in Maryland before. I uh, usually stay 
up in the mountains. Um, going downstate is a little bit far a drive for me, and yeah, it's just so nice to be able to get out with some uh, other herpers, some other YouTubers that do the same thing I do. Uh, all great guys. It's really nice meeting you guys if any of you are watching. Um, but this will be the end of the video. Um, I might be able to get another video out this week um, before I go to Texas. So either I'll get one more video after this in Maryland, probably up in uh, Western Maryland, or the next video after this will be a Texas uh, video. So hope you guys like the video and I will see you in the next one.